So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best version of Windows 11 that you can probably get right now. And the version of Windows that I'm talking about is called Windows 11 LTSC, which means Long Term Servicing Channel. I'm also going to be explaining as to why you should be looking at using this operating system and the reasons why you may possibly use it or even a reason why a business may even use this operating system. For example, if you are a healthcare provider or if you're using systems for kiosks or various other things as well. Now, Microsoft do offer two versions of this. They do offer one which is called Windows 11 LTSC Enterprise, and they also offer a, another version, which is called Windows 11 IoT Enterprise. And I'll be explaining exactly the two differences between these two versions that they currently offer. So just before we do go ahead, my name's Matthew from Matthew's Tech Hub. Welcome back to the video, everyone. And without further ado, let's roll that intro and jump straight into the video. Okay, so as you can see, this is now the desktop of the Windows 11 Enterprise LTSC. And you're probably thinking, gosh, there's not a lot on there. And you're right, there is pretty much nothing on here, which obviously you'll get a lot of bloat in normal builds of Windows 11. But because this is the LTSC build, again, this is why there is pretty much no bloatware on here. Now, the only thing that is currently here, as you can see, is that there's Microsoft Edge in the top left-hand corner. But because it's on LTSC, you can actually uninstall this, which I'll show you in just a moment. So what we're going to do is we'll go down to the start menu at the very bottom and then just jump into the all of the apps. You'll see straight away that there's pretty much nothing in here. It is very clean. It's just got all the basics just to get you started. And a lot of you are probably now saying this is exactly how Windows 11 should have come. And I completely agree with you. Now, if we actually look at some of the applications here, so for example, we've got the notepad. So if we actually jump into notepad just right here, you'll then see that it is the old classic version and not the new facelifted version that Microsoft has released and also chucked a load of AI rubbish into and tried to make it fancy, which just isn't really needed. But if you're like me and you prefer the old classic one, then like I said, you get it straight out of the box without having to do any sort of tips or tricks. If you are running Windows 11 at the moment, the normal build, and you are looking to get these classic apps back, click on the pop-up banner in the top right-hand corner because I have already made a video on how you can get these applications back onto your system. So Go, do go ahead and go check that video out. So we actually come out of here, and then if we just go back into the start menu again and then just jump into the settings, you'll see just straight away, it is pretty much still like a normal version of Windows 11. So the menu and everything all looks pretty much exactly the same. Now, if we just go down to the apps on the left-hand side and then go into installed apps, you'll then see this is the list of applications which are currently on the system. So we've currently just got Microsoft Edge, again, some runtime variable for it. We've got Paint, remote desktop connection, and also the snipping tool. And again, if we actually go to the snipping tool, and this is still the classic snipping tool and not the new facelifted snipping tool. So again, it's nice, easy, and clean to use. So what I'm gonna show you now is that you can actually uninstall Microsoft Edge. Now, if you are planning on using Windows 11 Enterprise LTSC as your main OS, just bear in mind that before you do uninstall Edge, I would probably recommend installing a browser first. So Let's just jump into the browser here, and then I'm just gonna click on Start Without Your Data. I'm just gonna skip all this usual rubbish that comes up again, just um, trying to get them to personalize your experience. And if we then just simply just go to over to Firefox. Okay, so now that I've got my Firefox install downloaded, I'm just gonna open up the installer. I'm gonna quickly install Firefox to the system. So it's like yes to the UAC and just let that run through, which will just take a few moments here. So I'm just gonna let that install, and I'll be back with you guys in just a sec. Okay, so now that my Firefox browser is installed, this is now where we can actually uninstall the Microsoft Edge browser. So just do that, just come out of the Firefox browser like this, and we then just jump down into the Start menu, and then go into Settings, and then jump on over to Apps on the left-hand side, and then go into Installed Apps. You'll then see, obviously, we've got the two Microsoft Edge and the Runtime variant just right here. So if I actually click on the three little dots, just like this, and then click on uninstall, and then click on uninstall again, just to confirm it, it's then gonna ask us about making the UAC changes. Select on yes. And you'll then see that it then comes up straight away asking if you want to uninstall Microsoft Edge, which usually in the normal build of Windows 11, that uninstall option on these dots right here would not normally be there. But because we are running the LTSC build of Windows 11, that is why that functionality is there in this build. So if we now just click on uninstall, just like this, give that a moment just to process, and boom, and there you go, you'll see that Microsoft Edge has now gone. And if we now do the same for the Web2, WebView2 runtime here, click on the dots, uninstall, click on install again, just select yes, 
give that a moment, and then you'll then see that the uninstall option comes up again. Click on uninstall, and there you go. And that is now Edge, which has now been fully removed from the system. Why Microsoft didn't do this in their original build of Windows 11, I don't know, um, but I wish they certainly did. But if we now minimize out of here, you'll then see that Edge has also been removed from here. And if we go down to the search box and just try searching for Microsoft Edge, you see that nothing comes up at all. So Edge has now been fully removed from the system. Now that doesn't mean that Windows 11 still doesn't have some of its bloatware features built into it because some features of which is unfortunately bloatware or spyware is actually built into the main core of the operating system itself. Now that feature which I'm talking about is something called Windows Recall. Now again, if this is something that you guys are not sure of or what it is, I've also got a video already covering this, so feel free to jump over to that video, which again, I'll put a link in the top pop-out banner in the top right-hand corner. So if we actually just go down to the start menu again, and we're just gonna search for CMD, I'm gonna run that as an administrator, and then select yes to the user account control. I'm now gonna run a quick command, which will tell us if the recall system is installed on this system, and if it is actually running. So now I've entered this command here, if I actually now just press enter, this will now tell us if recall is enabled. And as you can see, it is currently enabled on this system. Now, because the system I am actually running doesn't support Windows recall and it isn't an AI powered PC, recall will not really be running properly on this system. However, if you still want to disable it, if you are running this build, or if you're even using a Windows 11 build, Again, you can also run this command right here if it is running. And again, this the command which I first run, which is the get dash feature info, that actually checks to see if it is running, which you can see the result right here. So if I actually now run this command to disable recall, give that a second, that's now gonna disable. And if we then just run the get feature to see if it is running, you'll now see that it is saying that it is now disabled, but it does say I do need to give it a quick restart just to fully disable Windows recall. So that is just to show you guys that there is unfortunately some features like this that are built into the core operating system of Windows 11, which unfortunately cannot be removed. But again, you can still run commands to disable those specific services, or even if you've got an older PC like mine, then those services won't actually be fully running. Now the Windows 11 LTSC build is still fairly similar to the Windows 11 build, but as I said, it is just a very lightweight and de-bloated version. So saying that, if we jump back into the settings, and as you can see, we've still got a lot of the features which do come with Windows 11. So for example, right here at the bottom, if we jump into Windows Update, you can still get all the latest fixes. Now I believe with the LTSC builds, you do only get the security patches, you don't get all the latest feature updates, because you will actually end up being stuck using the 24H2 build. Now if we jump over to the Privacy and Security section, you then also see, if we go into Windows Security, that we have still got the Windows Defender built into this operating system as well, which is Microsoft's own antivirus and threat protection service. So again, you've still got all these core features, which again, I do kind of agree with that should still come with Windows entirely. Now, if you are still a bit privacy conscious and you wanna actually get rid of some features and improve the privacy, if you are planning on using this or even Windows 10 or the normal build of Windows 11, then this is a tool which, again, I do highly recommend that you take a look at, which is just, it's free to use. It's over on O&O &O Shut Up 10's website, and you can get access to that just by going to oo-software.com. Again, all the links mentioned throughout the video will also be in the description box down below. So if we actually just click on this green download button right here, and then if we then just jump into the software, I'll now show you what it is that you can do. So we just select yes to the user account control, and just come out of our Firefox window here. So this is actually if you want to improve the overall privacy in Windows 11 and also disable specific services. So for example, telemetry services to actually disable some specific features in Windows to stop spying on you. So what I would recommend is at the very top, you can actually select on where it says actions just right here. And you can then just go to where it says recommended and somewhat recommended settings. So they do actually have some preset settings in here. So just to explain what they are. So the green ones are ones which it says apply only recommended settings. So these are settings that aren't really likely to cause you any issues in the operating system or even break your operating system. Recommended and somewhat recommended. So again, that will apply all the green ones and the yellow. Yellow, obviously, you may possibly run into some issues. And then I'll see the red ones sort of mentioned that you probably most like 95 to 100 percent will run into a specific issue with the system if you disable it or something else so i normally run the recommended and somewhat recommended settings which is the yellow one that will do all the yellow and the green options and it and once you click on this it will then ask you to create a system restore point just to make sure that if anything does go wrong you can easily just restore your system there 
So I'm just going to click on continue right here. And again, it's now set all these settings up for me within Windows. So again, as you can see, 202 settings have now been successfully set. So if we now just click on OK, just like this, and then come out of ONO Shut Up 10. Close that there. It will then ask you just to reboot the system. So I'll give the PC a quick reboot and we'll now be back in just a sec. Okay, so now we're back on our desktop of the Windows 11 LTSC build. So that's pretty much wraps up everything for this version of the operating system. I'm now gonna jump over to the LTSC IoT build and I'll demonstrate exactly what it is, the differences in that build compared to this one. As I said, the IoT build is more stricter than this one. So let's now jump over to that build and I'll be back with you guys in just a sec. Okay, so here we are back on the desktop of the Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC and this is obviously the evaluation copy which is any version they currently provide. Now, as you can see, if we just jump into the start menu and then go into all, you can see that there is a lot, a little bit less the apps than the previous one. Again, as I said, this is a more very much de-bloated version than the already de-bloated version that they give us of the Windows 11 LTSC build. And again, you'll get all access to all the classic apps as well. So if we jump into the notepad here, you can see that it is also the original notepad. It's not the new fancy AI driven uh, notepad that they're trying to push out in the later normal versions of Windows 11. And it also doesn't feature any sort of co-pilot or AI stuff either again all of that has also been disabled and taken out of the operating system so let's also check and see if we have also got the windows recall built into this build as well which i imagine it probably will do because again all of the uh, recall features are mostly now put into the 24h2 um, core operating system so so if we actually go into the command prompt just right here and again i'm just going to run the command just to check to see if we have recall so after running the command here you can see that yes we have got windows recall built into this build as well which as i say I presume recall is now going to be put into the core operating system of all 24 h2 builds of Windows 11 but you can see right here it is actually disabled by default again this is most likely because my computer doesn't support recall or just because I'm not running these services that are required to run recall in the background so again it, again there will still be unfortunately some system and services built into the Windows 11 LTSC builds that again some of you guys may not like but overall it will be much cleaner and have less stuff on there compared to the normal build of Windows 11 which is available to the general consumer. But yes, overall both builds of Windows 11 they are very much de-bloated. You certainly will not have any issues with bloatware on these operating systems but again the limitations is that these builds are not available for the general public and are only specifically for specific businesses and certain environments that require the use of these specific Windows builds. So again licensing these will be very tricky um, especially this IoT build you certainly will not be able to license this one however the other build you may also may possibly be able to license it but again um, unfortunately you'd have to buy the key from a third party site or um, you could also pirate it if you are uh, that way in kind. So hopefully you guys found that information helpful there. If you did, please smash that like button to help get this video into the YouTube algorithm. Please also hit that subscribe button as well, guys, to help me grow the YouTube channel and to also show your love for the channel and hopefully all the content that I'm trying to push out to you guys. And you can also leave your comments down in the description box down below. Let me know what you think about this. Are you guys going to be running the LTSC builds? If you are, um, let me know, obviously, if you are, because I'd be interested to know if you guys are going to run them as your main operating system. You can also follow me on social media on the following Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter and you can also come and join my discord server using all the links down in the description box down below but as always guys thanks for watching until next time i'll catch you then bye for now